Hey uncles and aunties. Hey cousins. Hey niece. <laughs> I miss Bobette. And today is not a recipe. I am going to show you how to plant an avocado tree. Well, how to plant an avocado seed to turn it into a tree. And this is my avocado tree. Isn't it big and pretty? Yes. Can you see the seed down there? Look at the seed right there. I planted this seed um, back in March, right when COVID hit. And I did it with my kids last year. I was going to actually throw the seed out because it wasn't doing anything. Once I seen it sprout and I put it into the dirt, it wouldn't do anything. So it took like maybe eight weeks for me to see it. So that's why I plan I wanted to do it now. So even though it's January, it's a new year, 2021, yay. Um, it could take, let me see, we're gonna put this actual seed into a bag and that could take probably about four weeks for it to sprout. And then once we plant it in the dirt, that could take, uh, shoot another six to eight weeks so that'll be let me see six weeks from now this is january the 7th i think so that'll be like the end of february and then two months for it to grow into the soil march april so that it might be just perfect timing now even though it's cold out or this type of season i'm not sure if it'll work so i'm gonna plant two okay just to see if it's gonna work and if not it's okay I have a tree right here it's never gonna grow any avocado because we live in Michigan but the tree is pretty I think it's pretty so I'm gonna see how this works so I want you guys to try this at home too with the kids I have an avocado I always wash these really good because we don't know what happens to these at the grocery store or on the truck or even before that so I washed it real good scrubbed it down put some vinegar put it in some vinegar um, I gave it a vinegar and water bath and then I'm going to just slice it with a knife all the way around, twist it, and see I almost waited too long. You see how it's brown? So that's why I figured I better do this video today. And to get the seed out easy, just tap it with a knife and twist. See? I hope you guys can see. I know that light might be a little bit bright, but this is how you do it. And then you put this... You can wash this because it's slimy right now. So you wash this. Hold on, let me get this before it turns brown. Just gonna go ahead and slice this up before I start talking about that seed. Because I love avocados. Mm, I could eat these breakfast, lunch, and dinner, y'all. I swear. So what I do is I slice it up. I'm gonna eat this with breakfast this morning. And then I put a little lemon juice or lime juice on it. And a little salt. Let me get my salt. Sorry, I wasn't totally prepared, you guys, but I was actually making myself some breakfast. And I was like, oh, this avocado is about to go bad. Let me hurry up and use it. So I'm not totally prepared, as you can see. But it's all right. Let's look at a spoon. Shake it out like that. Yummy, yummy. So yeah, I was so proud of my tree. Like I said, I was going to throw it away because it wasn't doing anything. But then next time I looked, like two weeks later, it started to sprout. Put a little lime juice there. That's it. I just wanted to set this up so it don't go brown while we're doing the seed. All right, so we have the brand new seed right here, but we're going to use this old seed. So what I did was I washed these real good, got the slime off of them, let them set for a few days, and now I'm just peeling the, peel, the dried peel off of them. And normally you would wrap this in paper towel, but I don't buy paper towel. 
So I'm going to use a coffee filter. Got the coffee filters from the dollar store. And then we're going to put it in a freezer bag or a regular sandwich bag. Got them at the dollar store too. So this is a good activity you can do with the kids. And then this way, and it's like a science project too. You can watch it grow. See, this one's already starting to split. Oh, can you see it? It's got a little split in it, and that's what we want. We want it to split because that's where it's going to sprout. So that one's peeled. Let me peel this other one. So you, when once you take it out of the avocado, you want to wash it and let it set for a few days so that the skin can dry up. And see, this one's not too easy. I wonder if I can cut it. Be real careful doing this, you guys. You don't want the kids to do this part. But once you get the peeling off, the skin off, you can you can have them um, put it in the paper towel or the coffee filter and put it in the bag. And you can hang it mm, wherever there's sun at. And that might be why it didn't grow so good because I didn't hang it where sun is at. So this might take longer. So I got one coffee filter each for each seed. I'm gonna put them both in the same bag. Put in their own filter. Gotta get the coffee filter wet. Wrap the seed. And no, I didn't get all the peel off of this one, but I think it's gonna be okay. Just wrap the seed up in the coffee filter, or like I said, the paper towel. And then just keep an eye on it. What it's going to end up happening is it's going to crack in half, and then you'll see like a little um, sprout. You'll see it green. The green will start popping through. Seal up the bag. I rolled it just to keep the air out of it. Seal up the bag. And I think I'm going to put the date on this because I didn't really keep track of this one the last time, but I know it took forever. So with this one, I'm going to put the date on it so I can keep track of what I'm doing. I did write avocado on the stick. <laughs> you can see it. But I didn't put the date, and that's what I should have did, just so I can keep track of what exactly or how long it took and what was going on at that time. So this time I'm going to keep a little diary. Of what I did and this window right here has good sunlight um, in the morning in the afternoon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it up to the window so I can get some Sun and that's it guys and once it sprouts I'll come back and do another video oh it looks like this might need another coffee filter see how that's not let me put another coffee filter on these it might need to, the coffee filters must be thin see you see it this side's looking thick, but this side's looking thin. So I'm going to add, I'm going to put one more coffee filter in it. This is experiments that we've done in the classroom with um, beans. I've done this in the classroom with the kids with beans before, but never an avocado seed. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to leave it in here for like maybe four weeks, and then I'll check on it. Sometimes the paper turns molded to you guys, but just a little warning. <clears throat> That's what's happened in the past with beans that we've done. The paper got molded. And you don't want it to dry out, so every now and then you want to put a little water in the bag. So just check on it, and I think I'm going to end up leaving it in here, like I said, for like four weeks. And see what happens. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. So yeah, yeah, you don't want them to dry out. So every now and then put a little water in the bag. Just check on them. You don't have to open them up. You could usually you could just see right through it. You'll start seeing their greenery coming through. It'll start sprouting. And the kids will be so amazed. And then maybe you can read a book or something on seeds. I'll definitely do that when we plant it together and when I plant it in the soil, when I plant these in the soil, once they sprout, I'll definitely be reading a book about um, growing seeds. So there we are. That's it. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you good luck with your seed, with your avocado seed. You can plant any seeds, to be honest, you guys. You can use green pepper seeds. I'm going to do a celery stalk um, in the spring and probably a, a pineapple. Pineapples grow pretty. And that's about it. So good luck with your seeds. I hope you guys do it too so we can grow our stuff together and talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.